Welcome to Rob's Reviews. I'm Rob and this is a review of the current Doctor Who episode, the one that was just just happened, which was uh, Doctor Who on the Orient Express. The Orient Express in space. Uh, warning, there could be some explicit language in this video. I've warned you. What the fuck was that? Honestly, what happened? They were like, here's an idea for a Doctor Who episode. Let's get a train in space. The Orient Express, one of the most famous trains in the world. Put it in space. The Titanic worked in space with Kylie Minogue. Let's do this one, but have Frank Skinner on it too. And Sheridan Smith. And a singer from America called Fox, who I haven't even fucking heard of. But she was in there. And let's hope it works. So, what's the idea for the episode? A train in space, famous train. Let's put a mummy on it. That's good. Wait, isn't it meant to be sci fi? Well, we've got the space in. What about the mummy? No, no, the mummy's, the mummy's not really sci fi at all, is it? All right, well, we well, don't have it be a mummy. Actually, let's have it, you know, let's have it as a soldier who's kind of a mummy, but they've got something built in them. And then let's not actually explain it very well to the audience because, you know, that they don't really ask questions. It's basically for, like, six-year-olds now. And how about, you know, the train? That's... Oh, no, no, let's not make it a train now, you know. It looks like a train, and we'll advertise it as a train, but halfway through, let's, let's make it some sort of hologram-type place, some sort of training facility, a bit like what they did with the... The Weakest Link episode with Christopher Eccleston. That'll, that'll work, won't it? Oh, yeah, let's do that. What a load of shit it was. It, you know, it, it could have been brilliant. They could have had, like... Th there was also this 24 feel about it, where you had, like, this... The fucking... The clock counting down in the corner, like it is on my screen right now. But, oh, my God, it was terrible. Like... The the only thing that saves it every time is Clara's acting. Like, that's the only thing. And her relationship with the Doctor is progressing. But then they had the whole thing of her last week. It's like, oh, this is my last surrender. We're going to, you know, this is going to be it. And I'm not going to come back. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Fuck that. I'm actually, I'm actually going to stay here. And uh, we can continue this. Brilliant. Brilliant. Thanks. Thanks a lot for, again, teasing something massive and not having anything to do with it. Another amazing thing that's happening in Doctor Who is Missy, the whole Missy storyline. That's quite inventive. But again, that wasn't mentioned in this episode at all. So obviously that kind of dodgy captain person who was injured in a war. There's a lot of soldiery film like soldiery themes going on through this but obviously he'll be in missy land somewhere whenever that comes out there's a lot of theories spoiler alert right here that they're all turning into cybermen for the it's a theory i made up so it's not really a spoiler but um they're all they're all turning into cybermen all the doctors people that he ends up not being able to save or killing, if you will, will turn into Cybermen for the final finale episode, which is possible. But as I say, there's a massive soldier theme going out through this. And in the end, it's probably going to turn out, oh, the Doctor, he's a bit like a soldier as well. Uh, it, I, I really, I literally have nothing good to say about this episode except the relationship between Clara and the Doctor. And they seem to be, they seem to be fucking about with that a lot as well. So, this is this has been a bit of a rant as well. But honestly, uh, you need to you need to sort the fuck out, guys. Really, uh, there was no suspense. It could have been really suspenseful, and you could have done really horrory things with the with the old mummy. Mummy's a horror character, but no, you you fucked that up, didn't you? So yeah, that's it. I I ain't even gonna end it properly. Bye.